So usually when I'm looking for places to eat and stuff like that, I try to find something local and I try to find something neat. And this place, we was on a we was on a hike. And this place is in Whitley City, Kentucky. And I seen it on Google and I was like, man, I gotta try that out. So apparently they got like a whole bunch of ice cream and burgers and shakes and stuff like that. It's done like an old, old, you know, like a diner in the 1950s or something like that. I don't know how old the history really is of this building, but it's kind of interesting and I wanted to check it out. So let's go. excited about this when I seen it on, when I seen it on Google Maps when I was looking at it I was kind of excited because I was like man that looks really cool so hopefully it's good and I feel a little awkward because like you know it's a small town so they're probably not used to seeing someone like me talking into a camera we just went on a hike so that's why I'm filming here but this is gonna be a separate video so but after coming off this hike this ice cold root beer tastes delicious especially because it is loaded with sugar and I've been trying to only do like zero cow like no what is that uh, coat zero so yeah it's way good with all that sugar in it so like apparently after ha having that hike that we just did I'm like massively hungry so like I'm gonna be ordering like, a ton of crap but should be good. I got the Dixie King burger coming, which is the signature, but they said it was like they had two different ones. So I went to, with the Dixie King because it sound cool. <laughs> so looking at it, they got they got plenty of options to choose from between burgers and stuff like that. I think I I think I'm personally gonna go with uh, I think I'm gonna go with their signature burger because I mean you know I figure when when in Rome you might as well go with the signature, right? So we're gonna try that and then we're also we're gonna try this like legendary looking hot fudge cake I think it's gonna be epic so we just got the burger here we're gonna check it out also the cool thing is they got crinkle cut fries I'll say one more thing that I noticed that this this restaurant started in 1933 which is actually kind of cool it's like sitting here having a meal in history it's kind of like a museum if you will hold on one second all right, I'm a salt fan, so I even like drinking ocean water. It is what it is. Let's try the crinkle cut fries. Mm. Very hot. Very fresh. Not bad. All right. No. I'm gonna try that big Dixie King. Now I was a little bit worried about this one because this one has like tartar sauce on it, which I think is weird, but. That's a good burger. Mm hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and eat, and then I'll get back on here. When we get that hot fudge cake, I'll show you that. So, they just brought out the legendary hot fudge cake, and this is a must see. So, oh, oh my gosh, this, this is silly, and I wouldn't recommend eating this by yourself. Definitely have more people. Good. Definitely a must. So, we have finally finished our meal. Everything was good, man. I was so excited when I seen this when I seen this on Google. I was actually excited about checking it out because I honestly love checking out like historical things and stuff like that. And when I seen it on the map, I was like, man, that's gonna be awesome. And the cool thing was, is the food was actually like, had like that nostalgia kind of vibe. I, I, I'm talking like this cause I'm a little bit cold right now cause the wind's blowing and I'm freezing my ass off. But 
like I said, the food kind of had like that nostalgia kind of feel to it, which was exactly what I was hoping for. Like it's not, it's not the kind of food that's just going to blow you away, but it's that if you remember the old school hamburgers and stuff like that, the Dixie burger, if you will, uh, definitely had that vibe. So here is definitely, if I was ever in the area again, of course I would check out this place again. This place was nice. So. I guess that's all for me here in Whitley City at the Dairy Bar. I'll see you guys in the next one.